All right, so it's time to upgrade my PS5 hard drive. And I picked this drive up. It's the Samsung 980 Pro, one terabyte. It is the 4.0 version. So it says they're unstoppable speed. This is rated as one of the best SSDs you can currently buy, but it doesn't come with a heatsink. So I had to pick that up separately. Now I'm hoping this $10 heatsink is gonna work. I have no idea if it will. We're gonna find out in this video together. Now I just picked this up from Amazon and it cost me 134 pounds. So a very, very good price I got. And this was 10 pounds. So total price, 143 pounds for a one terabyte upgrade. And if this all works as planned, that is a very good price. The other drives that come with the heatsink are all out of stock, but they are like 200 and 250 pounds onwards. So this is a huge money saver, what I've done. I didn't plan to save money. I was actually looking to buy the WD SSD, which has the built-in heatsink. Uh, but of course no stock available and I really wanted to just get the upgrade sorted You don't need the better version. Everybody can now upgrade their hard drive turn off the ps5 remove all the cables Which I've done place your console on a flat surface. Yep uh, Position your PlayStation 5 so the logo is facing downwards PlayStation 5 logo should be facing downwards There you go So in other words disk drive facing upwards flip it around so the disk drive is facing on the other side and this corner here. So the force you're going to do is lift and that way. So basically something like this. Okay, it's not meant to fly off like that, but that is all you're doing. So lift and then you take it out of these grooves. That's what the connection looks like. So first part done quite easy. Now let's get a top down view of this. First time I've removed my PlayStation 5 lid. So I haven't done this before. So this is the drive bay. All we're going to do is remove this one screw. Just remove the expansion cover. And inside there, you can see the SSD slot. Let's open up the SSD. Check it out. So this is Samsung's SSD drive. This is the one that's highly recommended for this console as it meets um, the top speed requirements. So the heatsink I have here is double sided. So it comes with two different type of thermal pads. You have two thick type and you've got two thin type. So in the description, it says if you're going to use if you're going to use this double sided, then it's best to use two thin thermal pads. And if you're going to use it just single sided, then you can use the thick thermal pads. Or if your SSD drive is less than 2.4 millimeters in thickness, then you can use one thick and one thin. In combination so for the 980 Pro I'm going to be using two thin thermal pads so peel off one side stick it onto your SSD stick nice and easy same on the other side peel off the sticker and stick it on to the SSD so stuck both on nicely now all you're doing is Peeling off the top plastic layer or from each. Same on the other side. So that simply goes into the case. And then you're simply sliding the top on. Perfect. We're ready to stick this into the PlayStation 5. So all you're doing at an angle, just slot it in. You'll hear a click like that. And to secure it in place, you do need to screw it down. And there's a spare screw right there. That's what you need to use. So undo that screw and secure this in place. Okay, you're not doing that too tight. Make sure it's seated. And that is pretty much it upgrade done now a bit nerve-wracking for me because this is the first time um, i'm messing with my playstation 5 now we're going to try and put the cover on and it should hopefully close okay it goes back on nice and easy much easier to put it on than take it off so that is my upgrade done 980 pro one terabyte added to the playstation 5 so now i'm going to hook this all up 
and we're going to see the setup process for the new hard drive. So after installing the SSD, this is what you're going to see. It's going to ask you to format the SSD. Just select format and hit the X button and it should format the SSD pretty quick. And then it will show you the actual read speed for the drive. So M2 has been formatted successfully. To change where your games are installed, you can do all of that from settings, hit OK, and the PlayStation 5 would reboot. So that upgrade was actually really easy. Um, setup was even easier. So let's go to system storage. So console storage, you can see, we've got 92 gigs free. And that's me being quite stingy with the, with the storage. Check out my games and apps. Let's put it in order of size. So Call of Duty Black Ops takes up over 200 gigs. That is ridiculous. Then we've got GTA Valhalla, which is what I'm playing right now. Hitman 3, M2 SSD storage. So you can see the size, free space, one terabyte, formatted and ready to go. I haven't got any extended storage plugged in. I'm going to move over to Call of Duty because it just takes up too much space on the main internal storage. So select items to move. So you can see Call of Duty is selected and you've got all the information on the right letting you know the space that will be available after you move. So let's move 200 gigs Call of Duty Cold War. Let's see how long that takes. That's done, 211 gigs just copied from the console's internal storage to the SSD drive. So I knew that's gonna take some time, but now if we go to the M2 SSD, you can see we've got 789 gigs free and Call of Duty is there. And I do also wanna try loading that game up to see if it plays correctly. So here we go. So I'm just gonna play a quick round of Nuketown to make sure it's working as it should. Domination. Objective. Securing Charlie. This is the objective. Taking me. Charlie is what now. We're full ahead. Grab a down.
was upgrading the PlayStation 5's SSD storage. Probably one of the best drives you can get right now in the UK for the cheapest price possible. I've never seen it on sale for 134 before. So if you're looking for a PlayStation 5 upgrade, this is probably the best opportunity to get the best drive possible for that price. So I'm gonna carry on playing this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.